actually know what's going on here. I literally have no idea. Help. <laughs> We're, We're 20 whatever. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Hello. And welcome back to 20 whatever. It's a new year, baby. Oh new my gosh, year, yeah. First same one pod. Of the year. Yes. <laughs> new year, same pod. <laughs> yeah. Same mayhem. Yes. yes. I have missed this so much. It's been six weeks since we last recorded. Over a month? Yeah, I think so. It feels like a long time. I really missed you guys. Honestly, it feels like I haven't seen you since the retreat. Yeah. And is that true? No, because we did true? we did an episode after the retreat. The New Year's Oh, episode. you're right. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Oh, yeah. Then why does right. it feel like an eternity? I don't it know. really no. does. It I really think it's it, it being a new year. Mm. Like thinking about before Christmas. Yeah. That like, sounds. That was like ages ago. Yeah. That's why the coworker. He, I haven't seen you since last year. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See you in the new year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, you know how people hate those jokes? I'm sorry. I like them. I kind of like them. Too. I, it's I giving <laughs> dad joke. It's giving dad joke. That's why people are like, girl, get it together. <laughs> like the, the, I haven't changed my underpants since last year. Oh. <laughs> yes. That. You like that? <laughs> I, I'm embarrassed to say now. You like you that? I'm not going to lie. I laugh. Okay. I, I may not be the one to make that joke. Like, I'm not going to take it that far. Well. But I'm going to laugh. You did. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. I'm going to laugh, too. Always on the Zoom. I'm like, I'm going to give that oh, person the listen. I will fail. Okay. <laughs> I, I honestly, I hate those people who don't laugh. When the like during a Zoom call, like a fake it's laugh. already awkward, babe. Just like give them the laugh, like don't be like that. Yeah, you know what I mean. And the laughter is already gonna be like half a second delayed, so it's already gonna be <laughs> awkward. But then if you're waiting for the half second delay and then the laughter never comes, that's so awkward. Just just laugh. I know it's bad. I know. I know. We're just getting on. Hi, Listen. hello. We're chatting. Ha ha, 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 ha. Little joke here and there, just and just come move on. on. But no, please. Can we don't. We we know that the Zoom <laughs> calls are trash. Okay, and no one wants to be there. Your pants are off. We know. <laughs> But just like, oh my God, <laughs> well, just give them to it. Wait, can I ask really quickly? Did yeah. you guys, have you guys ever taken a Zoom call with like pantsless? Not pantsless, but like very like not appropriate for the, that matches the rest of the way that I'm for dressed. Sure, right, for like sure. Like if you were to stand up and everyone sees that. Yeah, that no. Ruin the look. Yes, 100%. Yes, yes. <laughs> but never like truly. Just undies. No pants. Yeah. Yeah. Like ass out. Yeah. <laughs> I've never done. No, yeah, I agree. I never have. Ass out. I never have my ass out either. No, but it's definitely giving like I'm for sure wearing pajamas, like yes. or like the grossest like holy sweats I've ever like worn. But I'm wearing like a button down. There's definitely top. a hole yes. in the ass. Yeah. Oh my god. A hundred percent. So if I have to get up for any reason, I'm turning that camera off. Yes. Before I get yes. up. Yes. yes. And then I'm gonna sit back down. I'm gonna un unblock the camera, and yes. then I'm gonna look so nice and put together. Also. Tell me that blue light glasses don't make it look like you are prepared for the meeting. Mm -hmm. That's I'm dressed. That's what I do. That's, exactly. That's actually how I. That's like, the makeup. I put on hoops. And my, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I put on my hoops and my glasses, and I'm dressed. Yep. I, I, that's my makeup. Mm -hmm. You're so right about that. <laughs> because I do it too. I do it too. But then I I end up taking them off because I want to like text and do other thing on the laptop and oh. you can see it through the reflection i have actually uh, had someone be like oh my god paloma it's so funny i can see your screen and i'm like Ooh. you're like closing all the shopping tabs <laughs> dude okay okay this is you get so, off of indeed <laughs> this is so dude i was just about to you're about to expose me this is so not relevant but one time i was working at this place and i just i hated it so much and my boss was just a tragic of a human being and <laughs> We were like on a call and she was like making us all share our screens and whatever. But she was calling on people. So everybody like knew it was going to come. But she called on me and I was so not prepared at all. And she was like, OK, share your screen. And I was like, um, I don't know, like really actually what we're doing. Right. She was like, it's OK, just share your screen and I'll walk you through it. And I was like, um, OK, so I like try to click. I clicked to share the screen and I was literally on Indeed. <gasps> Like I was no. literally looking for a new job and it showed up, it popped up and I was like, fuck, 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 fuck. And I like exited out. No one said anything. I was like, I was, no, it was oh. rough. It was rough. Oh um, And then I got God. fired two weeks later. <laughs> and then I got fired. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Honestly, it sounds like it was, it worked out though. Dude, it was the best thing ever. Yeah, worth it. So Dude, we, we actually should do an episode on that because I should, used to I got, work. I got her at the job at the place I worked, which like fully wasn't cracked before she got there. Then she got there and it was the worst thing we had oh, ever experienced. No. It was like, she and I felt me so here. bad. I was like, I'm so sorry. Yeah, she's like, I swear when I referred to you and like I was working here before, like no one was cracked, but now it we're, we're there. It was delusion, dude. It was crazy. Ugh. And then I got fired. And then she got fired like a week later. It was crazy, dude. She was like, we have no money. <laughs> she went off to Bali. Dude, our, <laughs> our boss just yeah, like went on a hiatus. Yeah, yeah, no, the boss swear to us. God. Swear to God. Left and was like, 
no one call me no one contact me like i'm, I'm on vacation on me, like i'm trying to out. figure it out and like but like meanwhile she was gone the business was literally falling. like falling apart right yeah we had no money like nobody knew what was going on we couldn't get a hold of her like it was delusion so like oh even my, my superiors were like looking to oh my goodness like they didn't even know what to and do then she, and so then i got fired and she was still working there and then her superior quit and then she was like who am i even like reporting to like and then she came back and like, the weeks big and weeks big and boss weeks, came back and then was like sorry everybody. we have no money everyone's fired bye Dude, it was a crazy. Oh my thing. gosh. It was crazy. It was crazy. We should do a whole episode on jobs. We like simply we have must. to. We the craziest must. things. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, all to say we escaped that. We did. Yeah, quickly. And, and, and here we are. Here we are. Welcome back. Uh it's 2023. And uh we're back better than ever. Right? Yes. I'm really feeling good about this year. We have some some I don't want to say like big plans because that makes it sound like, I don't know, we're going to like launch a satellite to the moon or something <laughs> like not not like big plans, but we've, right. we've got like medium plans. Yeah. yeah. We've got, we've got some plans. We've got some goals yeah. going. Um, so if you want to let us know down in the comments what you would like to see from 20 whatever in 2023, uh, do let us know. We very much value your input. And uh, it's going to be a good year. Yes. Yeah. Honestly, it's giving, if you want to give us topics, if big picture, think big, think big, bitch. <laughs> I will you say think that's, big. you do, you have to think big. And yes. I have on my vision board and like on my like, oh, I want to do this for this and whatever. Like uh, the header is think big, bitch. Oh, oh I, love I love that. Because why? I could think small. I do that every day. But now it's the new year. We got to think big. Which by the way, how have the new year's resolutions been going on for you? Are you trying to call me out right now? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I actually thought you were doing them. That's why I was gonna inquire. <laughs> I thought you were gonna I thought, thought she was gonna like, ask about dry January and I was like, bro, oh my god. I was talking about the moving every day because you have oh, been so good yes. about that. Oh my yes. god, about the dry January. No, I was uh, like, dude. <laughs> she's sitting there with the tequila soda. Um I'm Dry January? Okay. All right. Hello? Well, no. I did not mean to drag I really thought you I really thought you were coming for me. I was like, dude, we just got here. Like, relax. I was gonna do dry January. Listen, s things happen. My boyfriend sprung his ankle. Sprung uh, his ankle? Sprained it? Sprained. Sprung. Sprung it. Sprung. <laughs> he sprained he it. Sprung. He sprained it. And that was the end of it all. Because then I had to play nurse. And I was like, I need a cocktail immediately. Like, this is so insane. He was like, honestly, just do it. And I was like, anyways. So, dry January is canceled. Sorry. I don't know. Playing like, nurse is so hard. Dude. Like, when your significant other is sick. Oh, my goodness. I, oh, that's ba how, oh but, baby. But that's how you know, <laughs> like, if you're really down for it. Yeah. Because to like take care and like do things that you normally wouldn't do and like all this stuff like that's how you know if you're like not with it I don't know how the rest of the relationship is going to be because somebody's going to get sick right somebody's going to get sick or break a leg and blah 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 whatever tragic things life starts happening yeah yeah, yeah. I guess I'm for it because I was with it so well, good. <laughs> you, well, how's he doing he's doing better he's on a crutch right now but okay. he's doing Aww. better yeah, he's all right. just like baby can I get you anything dude the whole time I was like are you okay and then, <laughs> and then in my head I was like I cannot believe I'm doing this right now oh look at you I know ah. yeah. nurse but, uh, Ryan <laughs> but your other uh, goal of like moving, yeah, moving every day please talk about yes. that yes. you inspire me and that's what yeah well at first I was like I'm gonna do a thousand hours outside just like Sierra like I'm gonna do yeah. it I'm gonna do it <laughs> I don't I, truly unrealistic from the start like I just it just wasn't gonna happen I, I knew it but I was like I'm Sierra can do it I can do it which is tea I can't do it but I just like found myself being like it's pouring I'm not gonna go outside yeah. like I don't have rain boots I don't have like anywhere to go like and LA is like so gross this when it's new year yeah. hard to be outside in like yeah. a big city it's like, like that. nasty that's like New York when raining you're like it is gross it's just like trash and flooding and mm -hmm. it's just like not it so I was like how, what am I gonna do so I was like okay I'm just going to move my body every day. If that's like a YouTube workout, if I'm just going to dance around in the living room or I'm going to like go outside and get the mail, come back, like that's good enough. Like as long as I'm doing yeah. something, yeah. it's good enough. And even spending time outside, I wanted to spend more time outside. But again, the rain like made it so impossible. But I was like, okay, it stopped raining for like five seconds. I'm going to go run and get the mail, yes. come back. <laughs> or I'm going to stand outside for five seconds until I feel like sprinkles and I will go back inside. But it's been good. I've been doing it every day. So that's so good. What was yeah. your favorite like, workout or movement that you've done so far i did a like dance workout on Ooh. youtube and this um she's like a fitness uh influencer youtuber her name's mad fit she does like really fun stuff she did like a justin bieber one and i was like 
say less. <laughs> and I just danced with Justin Bieber for like 20 minutes in my room. And it was like iconic. Oh, I love and that. And I used the Fabletics uh, yoga mat. Ooh. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. That's been like one of the best things about my ambassadorship with Fabletics is I just have like all this access to like workout clothes, workout gear. And I feel like when you have that, it makes you totally want to wear it and want to move. And- totally. Because I'm like, what? I'm going to like dance around on my hardwood floor in my room. Like, but it just made it so much easier because I didn't have to wear shoes or like anything or make noise. That's yes. what I do. It's really padded. So I was like, if I'm jumping around, like Paloma's not going to be like, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> About the the thousand hours challenge though. Yeah. I've heard a lot of people say that like, oh, I really like the idea of this, but a thousand hours seems so daunting. Mm-hmm. The thousand hours is just arbitrary. Like you could say right. 500, you could say 200. Like yeah. the idea, right, is to get outside more. Yeah. I feel like a good place to start could be 365 hours because you're trying to average oh. one hour a day. Okay. And oh. there will be days that you don't go outside at all, but there'll be days in the summer but where you're, you're five hours outside. Yes. Oh, okay. Which, by the okay. way, how has that been going? I love it. Uh, I love it so oh. much. I feel so good. I feel like I am more present when I'm outside. Like I'm very mm-hmm. engaged yeah. with what we're doing outside and, and I am looking at my phone less. I'm just much more in it. And it's only been, as we're filming this, it's only been like two and a half weeks, but I have noticed such a change in our like screen time habits without even trying. Mm. Like Mm. I didn't go into this being like, I'm going to cut back on screen time. Like we don't watch a lot of screen time anyways. It's just kind of like if she asked for it and we're not doing anything, I'm like, yeah, sure. But she hasn't been asking for it. She's she's now Mm. asking to go outside Mm. all the time. Like our living room. It's huge, right? I'm, I'm like amazed that it's been that quick of a change, but our sliding glass door to outside is right next to the couch and the TV. And so I'll see her kind of walk into the kitchen, the living room area, kind of look around like, what do I want to do in here? And now she like almost always just goes to the door and that's is like, awesome. out, out. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Wow. That's awesome. That is and she, awesome. And I mean, kids love being outside and right. the fresh air. Like, yeah. I, yeah. And yeah. I feel like given the option to right? like it's easy to be like, oh, I just want to watch TV. And mm-hmm. you're like, for sure. Like, yeah. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like, watch your for TV. Sure. But, like, when they're given the option and they choose to go outside, like, that's, like, it's giving, like, let me pat myself on the back <laughs> yeah. Well, and I, it yeah, also like, makes yeah. me feel good that the activities that we're doing outside are or like, yeah, fun, fun for enough her. for her mm-hmm. that she's, like, I want to go outside because we have fun when we're outside. Yeah. But I'm, like, oh, my God. Yeah. Like this is this and is even so in cool. the rain, you guys were like jumping in puddles and like really getting after it. Yeah, and I love the rain. I love playing in the rain. Yeah, and I I think I I've heard a lot of people talk about how like parenting gives you an opportunity to get in touch with your inner child. Yeah, and I think before I was like I'm already in touch with my inner child. Like, have you met <laughs> so me? It's I like- watch High School Musical every <laughs> yeah. day. It's not just inner; it's outer. It's I'm just a big toddler. Right. So to me, I was like, oh, you know, I'm like I already am. You know, in I've healed my inner child, but no, it's like a totally different level now. I, I'm like, it's it's kind of allowing me to experience these things all over again, like jumping in puddles mm-hmm. and you know running around and dancing to music in the kitchen. And I think there is a part of that. It's like that that's sad that it does sometimes take like parenting or right. even nannying or babysitting to like bring that out of us. Like, I wish that we could all just do that for ourselves. Mm-hmm. You know? I was literally going to be like, how do you think people who don't have kids can like access that part of them? I think sometimes it feels embarrassing, right? Mm, like, yeah. oh, it's juvenile. It's embarrassing. I'm not I'm, you know. 25 or I'm 30 I'm not gonna go outside and jump in puddles and you know dance alone and to music in my bedroom right and so we feel embarrassed even when no one's watching us Mm -hmm. yeah so it's like you're almost embarrassed to yourself and I think sometimes when you're caring for a child whether it's yours or it's your niece or nephew or a kid that you're babysitting like you feel like oh it's for them Mm -hmm. like I'm gonna do this for them and then along the way you realize how healing that is for you yeah so I just I wish that we could all give ourselves permission to be juvenile sometimes and be goofy and yeah. and be childlike and I wish it didn't take an actual child, child to get right. us there. Yeah. 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 But I I genuinely feel like that's one of the things that I love about our friendship is I feel like we do you know reflect a lot on like our the things that we loved as like kids and teens and like yeah. us learning the hoedown throwdown in my kitchen. I was kitchen. just about to say that. Yeah. Like yes and we having were... sleepovers and stuff like yes. all of those things that we did when we were in middle school and 
elementary school. I'm telling you, I saw that. I was like watching the video. I was doing the hoe down throat. And I was like, wow, this like really was special to me. And it like was so, it felt so good. And I'm like, look at me, like 27 years old doing yeah. this. But like, it just feels, I haven't done that quite literally since 10 years ago when I'm in the living room with my best friends right. dancing, being silly, like, yeah. And doing it for fun. Like it just, that just felt so awesome. So yeah. that's so cool that you have Gracie to do yeah. that. That's so cool. <laughs> I've, I've loved it. I've loved the thousand hours outdoors. I feel like I'm just really excited and inspired to keep doing it. I don't know how much I'll like, how heavily I'll document it because the first couple of weeks I've been like so into it. of like, oh, I'm going to take a clip here and there. Yeah. Right. So I might not, you know, do like weekly roundups every week. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not, might not. I know I'm not going to. Right. And that's not the goal. But right now I'm having so much fun. Oh, I love good. that. That's so fun. I feel like there's so much opportunity to also like, oh, we're going outside. But like, what did we do yesterday? Oh, we went on a walk. Maybe today we go to the park. Oh, maybe today we do this other thing. And there's so many opportunities for you to do things outside that you haven't done mm -hmm. yes even like the thing i saw in your story where it's like you did a craft where you're like picking oh, pick out flowers like yeah. that's a yeah. craft that you're doing inside and but and then that going was, home but like yeah and to going continue home. the craft like it's yeah. like a continuation i'm seeing this i'm like this is genius when i have a kid write it down. i'm like right <laughs> no, <down."> right <laughs> it's so funny like with sierra i love like when you saw, i'm like oh oh that's a good bib write that one down. I, have, <laughs> right. I have no kids in sight but i know exactly what's needed because that's just such a genius idea and she's like exploring picking your little yeah. flowers and what she likes and then bringing it home and just exciting, just yeah. invigorating for their brains. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. And I loved right. that kind of stuff as a kid, like outdoors and crafts and stuff. Yeah, and, and exploring. Yes. I love that shit. You're like, oh, you want to go? I love that. I'd be like, yeah. I don't even know where we're going, but let's go. Yeah, let's yeah. get it. Yeah. And I've been thinking a lot too about how I think maybe, maybe it's everyone, but I think especially women, we kind of feel like we need to grow up really fast. Like mm -hmm. once we hit 12, 13, 14, it's like, I'm not a kid anymore. I'm an adult. I want to be perceived that way yeah mm -hmm. and I like think back to those years and I'm like I wish I would have spent a little bit more time like just enjoying being a kid yeah even when I was a teenager you yeah. know I think I was in a hurry to grow up and now as a parent I'm kind of allowing myself to be childlike again in, mm -hmm. in those experiences that I missed and I think with you guys as well like the having the sleepovers and doing the TikTok dances mm -hmm. like right. it's that part that I think I wanted to fast forward through mm -hmm. as a child and a teen do you think that was I mean I I think we all kind of put that pressure on ourselves, but do you think that was also like society? Yes, for sure. For sure, right? I think, and we we want to do like a whole episode on kind of the way that girls' interests are like downplayed as like silly and ridiculous. Mm, and, yeah. But I think that's part of it, right? It's like, oh, I don't want to be, I want people to take me seriously and yeah. people don't take girls seriously. Mm -hmm. right. They barely take women seriously. Mm -hmm. Right. But definitely not girls. Yeah. Right. So let me at least try to step up to the next level that to I the can achieve. Woman level, yeah. Yes. Right. Yeah. And because when you're treated as a child, you're like, oh, well, you're just a child. You don't know anything. So yeah. you don't want to be in that position. And like, like, oh, you don't know. You're, it's just silly. You'll, oh, yeah. Oh, when you get older, you'll, you'll understand. understand. Oh, Dude, my shut gosh, the hell up. I can't even. Maybe I don't want to understand. I'm like, but what I understand. <laughs> let me right live now. in delusion, babe. <laughs> they say ignorance is bliss. And it, it is. is. And it is. It is. It is. God. But that's so right. Like growing up, I really had people be like, Paloma, you got to slow down. Like you just, you don't need to grow up so fast. And I remember hearing that. I really, 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 that was something that mm, I was always told mm -hmm. as a little girl. So I'm like, and now that I'm older, I'm like, girl, you really should have slowed down and yeah. enjoyed that. Yes. But yeah. I think. It's maybe ma maybe something to dissect later is like high school, like middle school's high school was tough for me. Like there was like a lot of bullying. And so I wish that those like hoe down, throw down moments were like happening then. But like that wasn't the reality. People were, mm. you know, people are girls are like that's the time when people are kind of like mean or like doing things. And like you, it's not as doesn't feel as safe to have a group of girlfriends and mm. stuff like that. So I feel like maybe as I'm getting older now that I have my group of friends that I'm like, I love you guys and I just love doing the things that I love. I, I can allow myself to do it because back then I'm like, maybe they weren't as uh, inviting, real, maybe, uh, as inviting yeah. or as real or whatever I needed. And I was like, all right, let's get let's get through this. And I mean, that's why I did a, a, a homeschooling like in high school, too. That felt right. I was like trying to fast forward it. And now yeah. I'm like, oh, if I would have gone to high school, the real high school. Right. And d like in between, like, like in the TV shows when they show like yeah. in between passing periods. I'm like, <laughs> I never had that. But like that's cool. So but also maybe. like like you said, your reality didn't allow for you to even want that. Yeah. Because yeah. when you were at school, you were getting beat up and mm -hmm. like all this yeah, stuff. Yeah. So it's like, why would you want to be at school with any girls ever? Yeah. But honestly, what's Maybe. crazy is that like you would think that you as a person would be not a very nice girl because of the things that you've gone through. Yeah, you and you were that... like the nicest girl. Yeah. It's like amazing and beautiful that that wasn't 
stomped out of you. Yeah. You know, like that, mm. that just is, I think, a testament of how resilient you are. Yes. That you didn't have to build that hard outer shell to protect yep. yourself. Yeah. You said, yep. you know what? You're going to like stomp on me and you're going to treat me this way. I'm not going to change myself. Yeah. yeah. And that's like amazing. No, dude, for real. Because let me tell you right now, I say this all the time. If anything crazy ever happens to me, and it has often, but if anything <laughs> crazier, I, I keep saying like, I'm, I will be a menace to society. <laughs> She has, she's like, like one minor inconvenience and I'm being a I'm just going to blow everything <laughs> up. Because, but it's, it, it is inspiring though because I think about when I was like 16, 17, like 15, that age. And if I was truly being treated the way you were treated, like I'd uh, listen. You're better than I. <laughs> I. I really would like to shout out my mom for that one. Like she mm. really was like, I, I feel like if she was a different mom, I wouldn't have been, been seen as much. Like she really was like, girl. I don't know why you're going through this. Like, she's like, I'm so sorry. She's like, and, and she hits you with a, they're jealous, Paloma. They right. Lose. And I'm like, okay, mom, great, thanks. Like, I wish they weren't because right. they're mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And she just really, like, was just like, Paloma, if they don't, like, have room for you at the table, make your own table and, like, then you can, like, your own space. And, like, yeah. and I'm like, you're so right. So right. now, still working every day, be your authentic yeah. self. Yep show up for who you really want to and who yeah. you are so because other people will follow it. yeah if you're for real if you're <laughs> yeah. like yourself the people that are like drawn to you and attracted to you will come i think so i, it's I, I mean crazy. I, can't get, I can't get rid of you so <laughs> she's, and she's tried <laughs> Oh, you guys. Love you guys. I know. I love you guys too. I want to like, well, now that Valentine's is coming up, I kind of want to make like love cards for like my friends and maybe I'll start saying, oh, that'd be so, like remember back in school when we would like get those little yeah. things and with the little, I'd get, I'd be like, okay, Dude, that's the, the boy biggest I like, one, the one I like. I'm like, the that's biggest the one with like the best candy was always going to the crush. Yes. yes. Period. I remember like tying up little bags because I would like, we had the, you would buy like the pre-made cards. Like, you know, like yeah. I, yeah. I remember one year I had like Hillary Duff valentine yes. yes and then you would like get the little bag of candy and like tie the card to the candy mm -hmm. and i remember like my mom got like hershey's kisses and like starburst or something and like a couple reese's and so like for the kids that i didn't really know i'd do like a mix of both and then like my friends i do you know maybe some of the better ones and then like my crush yeah you're getting like three reese's fuck yeah dude Hell I yeah. want you to know yeah. and yeah. say something. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then do, would you guys like go through the cards and like pick the one That's that like said love? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. I, we all really were doing that. <laughs> and and what's crazy is that it really <laughs> didn't matter. Didn't do anything. The like like it, it didn't do anything. Yeah. yeah, I gave him those three Reese's for nothing. Yeah, I don't think that changed anything. No, it didn't. It didn't. But in say, my brain, I was like, if I don't, how will how will they know? Mm. I'm gonna say I don't think Jeremy looked my way. <laughs> no, <more laughs> not <before>. Jeremy. <laughs> no, right though. Did you guys ever make sure to give the funny or like neutral one to the person you really wanted them to not think that you liked them? Like, did mm -hmm. you pick? Yes, yes I had yes. to go through and make sure. Yeah, I, it had to be like, oh. We are in class together. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah, yeah. It, it was like a social like thing. Like oh, we're looking sure. at the list of the names and you're picking the cards yeah. specifically. Like yeah, this yeah, is serious. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. what you get give them means something. Yes. Well, Absolutely. And the thing is, okay, so the the boy that you picked the card for with the special words, you put it in the extra candy. Had it worked? Had like right he ha picked up on the vibe and come up to you and said something? Mm -hmm. That would have been my worst nightmare. Oh my god. So what was yeah. I doing? I wanted him to know, but <laughs> If I he would have said something, I would have melted on the spot. One hundred percent, yeah, delusion. See, so I'd have been like, "Yeah, because b b hey." <laughs> <laughs> no, exactly. Yeah, no. Actually, you're right. That would have been my worst nightmare. One time, a boy signed my yearbook with a heart. Like he wrote like his name with a heart. This was in like fourth grade. That's serious. And I like, I like, kind of liked him. Like it wasn't like he was like my crush, but I, you know, I liked him. I was so embarrassed. I scribbled it out in my yearbook before I showed my parents, oh, like my yearbook, because no. I didn't want my brothers or my parents to like say yeah. anything. He wrote his name in a heart in my yearbook. Like, I cannot handle this. Like, absolutely Sarah, not. Sarah, he confessed his love to you in the yearbook and you did I nothing. scribbled it out. <laughs> oh my God. He went on a not limb. Not like in front of him, but like limb. on the bus on the way home. I'm like, my That's brothers like can't see this. <laughs> That's so funny. So, like, what would I have done if when I gave him the Hillary Duff one that said, like, I'm coming clean about my love for you or something? <laughs> not coming clean. Yeah. <laughs> so, girl. You didn't. I really hope it said that. I'm sure it I did. I genuinely hope. We should make 20 whatever Valentine's cards with, like, things that we say on the podcast. Oh, that's cute. Um, okay. Is anyone writing that down? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Amazing. Piggy, backing off of the yearbook situation, I remember in middle school, 
Like that's when everybody was getting like cell phones and we were exchanging numbers. Mm. If a boy put his number in your yearbook, bro, you might as well have just confessed your love. You might as well yeah. proposed. Like it was giving that. And I remember this one boy that I really, really liked. He put his number in my yearbook and I was mad because I didn't have a phone. Oh. But when I finally got one, which was in like high school, I like added all these numbers and they were like, who is this? Like, what are we doing? <laughs> you and went I was back like, through your yearbook. You're like, yeah. you gave me your number. You give me your number. Yeah, it was like embarrassing afterwards because they were like, who the fuck? Like, what are we doing here? But I remember being like, oh my God, like if I had a phone, I would get all these numbers. <laughs> <laughs> but it was cute. Like, I, I remember like the, boy, the boys I, w- I was getting numbers from Maybe like a flex on me because they were cute and I was they, I was living for it. <laughs> but I remember it being so exciting. Like, oh, my God, like I'm getting like numbers like this happens in the movies. Yes. yes. Like yeah. when somebody gives you their number like this is like something. Yeah. And I think maybe that was the elementary school version of drawing the heart around his name in my yearbook mm, mm-hmm. because we didn't have phones right what's he gonna do like put his home phone number in there remember that though yeah the I home do. phone I, I was gonna say when you said put numbers in the yearbook i used to c- call their houses the like bro. it wasn't anybody's business wait okay oh, can, I, I, can i talk to ryan i was you gonna know? say i was gonna say i never called any like boys f- home phones i only called like my girlfriends oh yeah. I did you call talk, yeah talk <laughs> to me about it his mom, his mom well talk to like, me about it like no, let's I, talk about I, it absolutely like <laughs> I would call and be like, hi, can I talk to Anthony? And she'd be like, one second, Paloma. And Aww. I'm like, I, well, I hope she's not saying some other girl's name. She's like, one second, like, Rachel. Rachel. I'm like, ah, who the fuck's calling her? <laughs> and I'd be like, okay. And then, and or but the mom would, there was times where she'd go and be like, okay, guys, it's been like three hours. And Anthony would be like, oh my God, mom, get off. Blah, blah, oh blah, my blah. God. And be like, all right, Paloma, I have to go. And I'd be like, When you okay, could bye. pick up the phone and enter a conversation. Yes. Well, so the oh reason why I felt God. comfortable oh. calling his house was because I had a phone in my room. Like it, Ooh. like we got, we went to Costco, we bought one that had in each room. Yeah. I like put, yeah. put bedazzled it, put stars on it. Yep. Like it was, it, yep. it was like the one from che- uh, Cheetah Girls. Oh, oh right, gosh, obviously. Period. And so then when they would call and I see the caller ID and I'd be like, Mom, don't answer the phone. He's calling. <laughs> don't do not. I literally would scream, do not answer the phone. And then I'd be, like, Hello. Oh hey hey Anthony. Yeah like. That ass. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe you got to have a phone in your room. I, I was wanted that the same thing. so bad. Because like you said, like right. in all of the movies, yep. and they all got the cool bedazzled yep. like phone with like the curly wire on it. <laughs> yes. I wanted so, one so bad. so bad. And I remember one year for my birthday, I told my parents like, hey, can I please have a phone in my room? Like, I really want a phone in my room. And my phone had one of the plugs for the phone. So yeah, it's yeah. like, you can't even tell me that it's not possible. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. <laughs> and, and they were like, we're not going to get you a phone, but if you want to take one of the handheld phones and just have that be like your phone that you keep in your room, like you Fine. can do that. When I tell you that was like the best moment of my life. Mm-hmm. I Because I did, I wanted to bedazzle. I wanted to do all those things. So I was like, this is my phone. Like, you can right. use the other three house phones on like mm-hmm. the receiver, but this one, this mine. lives in my room. Yeah, right. It's mine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I I had a similar experience. I I think I won. I won so much shit when I was a kid. Now that I think about it, I don't know why. I think I was just like lucky. Like I would just play games and like win stuff. I would go to baby showers and I would always win a game. <laughs> Not relevant. I don't know why I brought that up, but I won a phone and it was a Hello Kitty phone, dude. Oh, was it pink? Yes. Oh my wait, gosh. Wait, wait, wait. Did I get the same Hello Kitty phone as you? Like, like I have a picture of me holding. It's phone, like, like it was big. Yeah, it was right, like, and it had like a. Oh, keep going. Well, we all, well, you know, what? here's the thing. I, I'm. We I'm all live the same. We life. all live the same. Yeah, life. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, ah, Never mind. It was it was big, and I remember it had the ears on it. It, so and I cute. I can't remember what the like the foam part was, but I do remember it like took off. I don't know. I can't really remember, but I remember being able to take it off, and I won it, and I was like, "Are we gonna like?" hook this up to my room, my parents being like, no, because you don't need a phone. And I remember being like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> why would you plug it in? Like, what are we doing? And I, I, I think I like play pretended on the phone, but also my parents had cell phones. And I remember giving like all my friends, my like mom's cell phone number because she would like, let me like go on it and like, you know, That's cool. talk on the phone or whatever. However, I don't, my brain right now but I remember this one time I was in middle school and my brother was being born and my mom didn't have her phone because she was giving birth and uh, I was holding her phone and I was texting my friend I was like oh yeah she's at she's in the she's in the room whenever she's 
six centimeters dilated. <laughs> I didn't know what that meant. I had no idea what that oh meant. And God. I was simply texting my friend. Also, this is when texts like cost money. Oh, yeah. Yep, she's dilated. And, and every dude, <laughs> dude, seven, eight dude. <laughs> my mom being like, what the hell? Like, why? And I was like, I, just, I was updating her, you know? Can you know. imagine me giving birth to like my second and Grace is like, yeah, so mom's <laughs> dilated to an eight. <laughs> I'd be like, excuse me. And I, li- I didn't she's even, taking I didn't <laughs> even know. I didn't even know what that meant. <laughs> At the time, I simply had no right, idea. No, you're just oh like, it's a, like a measurement of progression. Like, like, totally the, the baby's Dude, gonna be here simply soon. wasn't giving vag at all i had no idea not a clue oh not a clue but i remember having my mom's blackberry oh period dude dude, dude. did you feel so cool holding hell that yeah bro i was in the waiting room like with a little texting. ball with a little ball hell yeah oh. texting texting i don't know how, what relevancy that I had to my story to begin with but <laughs> i just thought of it so i thought i'd share Thank you for sharing. Thank, thank you for sharing. You're this, is welcome. A, this is a safe space. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Do you guys have any Valentine's stories that stick out in your head? I honestly do. I really, I really have one, and it was the first anniversary or first Valentine's Day that Ryan and I spent together. It was the very, very, very first one. I picture, I'll paint you the picture, ladies. There we were, barely dating. Like it's we're new, so it's kind of like like. It's kind of like expectations are kind of high. Like, I'm like, oh, my God, this is going to be crazy. Right. First Valentine's together. <laughs> I, I, I like this man a lot. Right. He's the kind of guy who likes to plan. So he made sure to plan and get reservations for us like weeks ahead. And I was like, OK, awesome. I love it. A man with a plan. So there I am. I get my little black Period. dress. I, yeah, huh. <laughs> I get my little black dress. I'm really excited. We're going to go to this new restaurant in downtown. So I get I get ready. I show up to his house. There's like a bottle of wine, candles, flowers. Ew. And he's like, yeah, I thought we'd have a little glass and then we can walk to the restaurant. We were downtown. So I was like, cute. So I had a little glass of wine and then we walked to the restaurant. We get there and we're like, hi, checking in for our reservation at seven. And he's like, oh, my gosh, thank you guys so much for checking in. Um, it will be about two hours. And I said, no, I'm so sorry. We have a reservation, sir. It's under <laughs> Ryan. Check right there. He's like, no, um, I'm so sorry, but it's Valentine's Day in the city and the cr- the kitchen is extremely backed up so we can't even seat you guys because it's caused so much drama so it'll be Mm. about two hours we're so sorry so ryan and i are like let's try to find a place between now and like two hours so we're running around downtown going into every single place sold out booked 250 person uh plate per person plus an hour wait dollars per person it's fixed menu at this point because we're in la downtown you know Right. We can't get in anywhere. They're kind of laughing at us. Hi, are you have a veil? They're like, oh, looking at him like, oh, you didn't have a reservation prepared. And so he's like feeling himself as yeah. you like know. No, right. He's right. like, oh my God, I made a reservation. Like he's feeling down. And I'm like, look, you like, we tried. Like, how did we not know? Like, it's yeah. not like we weren't prepared. So there we go. We're going to bar to bar, restaurant to restaurant, trying to have a little <laughs> shot here and there, trying to wait, wait, <laughs> wait, wait. wait. Oh, me. We go back. It's 930. Still haven't been seated. You haven't we, had dinner. We, we haven't we haven't had dinner. Oh. We haven't gone in anywhere, you guys. My Ryan somehow talks to the guy, and the guy was like, "Okay, we will sit you, but you can't order any food just yet because we're not ready. But we will sit you down. You, we can get you like a glass of wine." And Ryan was like, "Anything? We, it's literally oh. we've been wandering yeah. around downtown yeah. for, like since seven. We get seated. They can't even bring us water. They won't make eye contact at us they, because they're so backed yeah. up. They're yeah. not trying yeah. to like even yeah. keep us there, right?" It's reaching 10, 10, no. 15. It's about to be 10, 30. And Ryan goes, there's a, I, I, he's, he's sitting out, I'm sitting towards the window and he sees a Chipotle behind me and he goes, <laughs> what if we run to that Chipotle and go get some food quickly before they honestly close right now at 10, 30. I grab my purse. We ran in heels, suits and slacks to the Chipotle across the street. Ryan goes <laughs> in, whatever the girl wants, I will pay extra for guac, steak, whatever you want. <laughs> I order everything to everything I could possibly think of. We're like dre- so dressed in this Chipotle. Right. And we grab our to-go bag and we went back to his house and had it uh, like the meal with candles and the Aww. wine that was there and just ended up really celebrating it together. So we always Aww. laugh and we're like, we really, really tried so hard to make that Valentine's Day super, super duper perfect. And it just ended up us being running to the Chipotle late at night and but so, like how special why does that feel like a sitcom plot dude, doesn't that feel like that would be fuck. like the valentine special hell yeah and i dude. even have the picture that ryan took of me like posing at the dinner table and you can see the chipotle in oh. the back of it and i'm like this is so <laughs> telling i'll but have to post it so, or something like because. that is so relatable and so like genuine right mm-hmm, like yeah. you guys really tried like he really did his best to like make it perfect you're gonna go to a nice expensive dinner and all this shit and you ended up at chipotle in his apartment like i iconic. know i know and but so the <laughs> fact that you guys still had a great yeah. night together i feel like that's the thing where like 
early on in a relationship, well, those kind of separate. situations, dude, do or die. Yep. That's why it was so yep. important. It was like our first Valentine's. We had just started dating, like only a month, you know? So it was like kind of like high stakes. And I know he was really trying to make everything perfect. And I was like, yeah. oh my God, we're together. It doesn't matter. But the following year, he made two reservations. <laughs> so, you just know, in case. Just in he case. He learned his lesson. Yes, he and he says that to this day. So, <laughs> And that was I our first that. Valentine's. And mm. I, I love it. And I'm glad the way it ended up with us you know oh so. that's so we're in love cute. and we are turning our anniversary is in two days from like literally from right today up. today i'm turning four years with this man happy anniversary let's talk about it man, let's talk about it i've been with a man it. for four years okay and how I, what have you learned <laughs> to, make <laughs> to, to, to make two reservations to make two reservations and to it doesn't matter and, and like that story really tells you it's not really what we're doing. It's just who you're like with and what like the person you're spending it with. So Ew. I know it's so ugly and I mushy and gushy. Love that, I love that man. And we'll be. I just love you guys so. together. I mean, to, dude, bro, listen, I love you. But I fucking love Ryan. Like that's my <laughs> dog, dude. Aww. I remember I was I was just at home like a couple days ago, and I was like, I can't get anything on the couch. I was like, Ryan's gonna be so mad at me. And then I was like, and honestly. That's hell. Like <laughs> Ryan, Ryan being mad at me, like I I avoid that so much because I just I don't know I just care so much about him and I just want to make him well, proud all the time. He doesn't get he doesn't angry. get mad. So it's like it's, it's for him like to a... get mad, you're like oh yeah. I just don't want him to be yeah. disappointed. <laughs> I just, yeah, That's my bro, dude. I I love that man. Like he's great, great guy. Yeah. So yeah, so we're celebrating our anniversary oh. next week. We'll be going off to a little trip to uh, the mountains. I we booked ourselves like a little Airbnb. So oh my god, gonna, you! I know, I know. And there's like a little sauna and like a yoga room and like hiking and stuff. So Period. I'll make sure to vlog it. What, yes. what I can, you know. No, nope. it is. I was like, it's, 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 <laughs> no. not like no. It's gonna Whoa. be a spicy vacation. Whoa. It's gonna be like one clip of P like wrapped like, in a towel. Yeah. Hey guys, hey this guys. is the only thing I'm able to film on this trip. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. <laughs> dirty girls. Dirty. I'm dead. No, but. Tea. I was going to say because it was private time, but all right. Send no, it. Send no, it to the same, no. Same thing. Yep. Private yeah, exactly. Private, private time. Mm -hmm. It's private time. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. is... so we'll be in the mountains. <laughs> Doing who knows what. <laughs> Which, Love by that. the way, that's why I texted you. Do you have this uh, We're Not Strangers couple pack? Because if not, I was going to order it on oh, Amazon. Oh, my God. So order it. Like, no. So cute Dude, I feel the moment. same. You guys. Listen, anybody who's in a relationship or like about to be in one, get the couples pack of We're Not Really Strangers. Truly, I've read so much. I've watched so many videos. Like, it gives. It's being sent to my house right now for the weekend. It really Aww. gives. It yeah. really gives. It's really sweet. And I think it, like, can really help you if if you're stagnant in a relationship or if you're new. I feel like that's, like, a really good place to, like, open up a lot of conversations about things. Yeah. So. It and it's... Gets, yeah. Especially on a trip like that where you're, like, ready to kind of, like, dive into yes. those, like, Secluded. mushy, mushy. Yeah. 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 Aww. Aww. That's it, cute. <laughs> yeah. That's cute. That's cute. Do you have a Valentine's story? As an adult, I was always kind of anti-Valentine's Day in mm -hmm. that, like, it's just a consumerist holiday. It's about selling cards, which is true. But I think there's still specialness to be found there. But I was very cynical at this point in my, like, late teens, early 20s. Right. And I remember I had told Steven, don't get me flowers. Flowers are a waste of money because they just die and like da 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 and it's stupid, which now I love flowers. But back then, still, you know, listen, we're still working on it. Very not like other girls. Right. And Steven came home from work, came home from the office. He had got me a box of chocolates and he had got me an artichoke because <laughs> right. an artichoke is technically like a flower. But I love eating artichokes. And so it's not going to be waste. Like, this is not a wasteful flower. <laughs> like you can eat it. And then he steamed it for me and I ate my artichoke on Valentine's An Day. An artichoke is a flower? Well, yeah, it's like the yeah. part of the plant that flowers, I think. And you can eat it? Yeah. I mean, I know you can Ryan, eat artichokes. I mean, Ryan, yes, you can eat artichokes. I, yeah, What's the yeah, but I didn't realize that like it was considered a flower. I don't know if it's actually considered a flower, it has, like, but little it's like petals, like those little things that you can pull off and you dip them in. Yes. Oh, was oh 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 yes. oh, oh oh. But that is just so thoughtful and so you and me like that's it's giving effort. And yeah, I'm gonna tell I would say you, absolutely. I thought that was so sweet that he he still wanted to get me something, but he didn't want to go against my wish of saying don't give me don't flowers. get me flowers. And I I think oh. honestly that was kind of the first thing that like softened my heart. It's giving for green flag, right? Yeah. Uh, period. That is that is so sweet. Um, I'm getting head nods that it is in fact a flower. Is it a flower? Yeah, the part that we eat, 
and that most people ever see in the store is actually a flower bud. So a he did get me flowers. A man with a plan. <laughs> wow. It's sometimes called a head. So he you got you head. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yeah, you got her head. I got head. Uh, Whoa. <laughs> Honestly, you're winning. Oh. It's giving winning. Period. They're a member of the thistle family. So they have a flower. Right. But they're considered mm. a vegetable plant in the thistle family. Wow. Steven is a very complex man. Yeah. And our jokes are a complex flower. Honestly, <laughs> snaps for Steven. Truly. He's the best. He is. Um, I also have a Valentine's story. It is not as exciting or fun considering we are no longer together. So I don't have like a fun, cute. I mean, it's cute. And then it's not. <laughs> <laughs> One time for Valentine's Day, my ex and I were super poor. We were living in New York. We had no money. It was like we were like not going to actually do anything. We were just going to like spend time together. So we like went out. It was raining this year and we went out and we just like got food and it was like very casual and then he was like oh let's go to washington square park and i was like period let's go so we walked there beautiful new york stunning <laughs> we walked there it was amazing and he's like okay sit right here and i was like okay <laughs> vibes he stands up like on the fountain like if you've been you know he stands up on the fountain. i'm like what the fuck is going on he starts singing this elva song but I can't help falling in love with you. I was sobbing. And there was everyone was like staring at him, obviously, because he was like singing in front of everyone. Aww. And I was like, he really loves me. Oh, Aww. my God. Like, it was so beautiful. It was amazing. Um, We broke up a week later. <laughs> But you still have that moment. I have that moment. But that, yeah. that, that moment right there is very movie. Like when a man yes. sings. Yes. To no, you, it was giving you know? so movie. That's why when, I, when we broke up, I was like, bro, last week you were out here and now you're with another girl. Like, help me understand. <laughs> you're like, this is crazy. You're like, well, That's apparently you could crazy. help fall in love with me. And, and you could help falling in love with anyone else. So. <laughs> oh. Jeez. Yeah, tragic. But it was beautiful. In the moment before, prior to the breakup, it was amazing and it was so nice and was so beautiful and moving and it felt it truly felt like a movie because we were in new york the fountain was going he was standing up you know when the yeah. man's like gonna like do something he's never done before and everyone's yeah. like oh, yeah. oh my god it was did very everybody much clap movie. yes oh that's such a movie it was su which is why the breakup hurt so much i mean that's not why but like it was like bro you're like and everything everyone four in washington days square ago, park dude, saw you four days ago yeah you were confessing your love to me. You're like, should we bring them back here? Because they're not going to clap now. I said, I said, bring them back. Tell them what you did. <laughs> <laughs> well, all to say, I'm kind of not, I'm not hoping that they're bad, like, stories, but I kind of want some juicy drama oh, love stories that we're going to read today. We got some really... juicy stories. Some good, some bad, and ugly. Like my my, my Elvis wonderful song <laughs> in Washington Park that we can share. Yes. Because they're good. I cannot wait to read these. Let's so like it. when we did the Halloween horror dating stories, mm -hmm. Ryan posted a Google form on the 20 Whatever Podcast Instagram. So if you're not following us there, definitely do. And uh, we have some viewer submission Valentine stories. Yes. <laughs> yes. So we need to get into it. <laughs> Let's do it. P, do you want to go first? Yeah, sure. Okay. Which one do you want to do? All right, Wait, we're already in. I want to do the talking to boobs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I love when you give them names. That's like my Thanks. favorite part. I, you Wait, you, t you titled these? I did. <laughs> I'm dead. I'll read them and I'll be like, this is the title. <laughs> <laughs> so, so for this one, Ryan titled it talking to boobs. <laughs> I, 24-year-old female, went on a first date with a man, 29-year-old male, at a bar. We had talked on Hinge for about a week prior, and his communication was great over text. In person, not so much. When I got up to use the bathroom, he texted me while I was in there saying he loved watching me walk away. <laughs> uh, once I came back, I tried to keep normal conversation. He brought up religion. My profile says I'm atheist. His says he's Christian. I had no issue with this, but he clearly did and called me closed minded for being an atheist. LOL. I tried to not argue about it, but they're my values. I was annoyed. Other than right. those two things, the rest of the date went fine until he walked me to my car and hugged me goodbye. He leaned his head into my boobs and literally motorboated them <laughs> while talking to them in a baby voice. <laughs> like talking to, to my boobs voice. as if they were separate people in a baby voice saying, did you have fun tonight? <gasps> did you like Kyle? <laughs> I oh was in God. complete <laughs> shock, and I just got into my car and drove away. After a few minutes, I started laughing and crying. Worst day ever, and I'm still single two years later. 
Girl. Oh, girl. That, girl. that went from bad to ick. Ick, ick. As fuck, so dude. fast. What do you mean a Where mix? do we start? Where do we start? I mean, casually it's assault. Low key. Yeah. And also, no, actually. me walking to the bathroom and then you want to text me while I'm in the bathroom about my ass, bro? That's you love to watch me walk away. That's weird. Also, like the Come bringing on. up religion thing when it's out there Clearly, on the profile. That, that's not the tea. Like if if it's a deal breaker for you to date someone who's not religious, then why would you swipe and then talk and then ask someone out on a date who is atheist? And that's what she said. She was like, I was open about like I was yeah, like, it was yeah, fine yeah. that we weren't like the same. But he was like, clearly there was an issue with it. And you were like, why would you match? I'm not going to lie. I don't think he had an issue after he motorboated her in the parking lot. Like wh what problem? No, right. As but fun. I also think I think the baby voice is like kind of weird. Like him, like. I'm wondering. I'm like, and, did he have the motorboating? Did he have them still in his hand? Like, did you like Honestly, that? Like, that's <laughs> babies. Uh. Oh my god, uh. that's uh. weak. Uh. Mm. What was this called again? What I named this one? Talking to boobs. Talking to boobs. Yeah, and grabbing boobs. I don't like. I, don't, I really yeah. don't it's, like the it's, motorboating. It's the face and that's, the titties that, for me. That's a lot. Yeah. But you know what's so weird is that like me with like my boyfriend or like you know long term boyfriend husband etc cetera, etc cetera, to go to the bathroom and get a text from your man that was like. Yeah, let it watch you walk away. You're like, ah. <laughs> yeah, that's right, well, boy. Well, because then you're going to come back and they're not going to pretend like it didn't happen. You're going to be like, ha ha, I got your text. Yeah. And like, it's fine because we're together. together, together. And it's like, ha ha, and fine. If you wanted to make that comment and it was a first date, why wouldn't you wait for them to come back and then be like, it's like say it to them. I yeah, like, like in a sex scene, like I, I really like watching you walk away, and then you're like, oh, really? Like you know, that could have really sparked some conver sexy something. conversation. But the but then also, weird. I'm like, it's still giving first date. Yeah, like, yeah. I that. feel like that's that is too for you to be like, mm, damn, that's mommy. like a I'm fourth, like, fifth, yeah. sixth date kind of like. Let me just text you and <laughs> you like about that, Jess? Damn, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing. I'm like, no, 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 uh, no, no. Do you know why mommy. she's walking to the bathroom? <laughs> it is cracked. And but the, to also like wait while she was in the bathroom is like pretty, pretty crazy. Yeah, I, I hate everything about that man in that story. Yeah, me too. Because the thing is, like, there's a lot on there that's like boundary violation uh -huh. for like a first date. Yeah, like, so absolutely, many boundary violations. so many boundary viola violations. But there's also elements to that that even if we like, I've been married for five years. If Steven started talking to my boobs in a baby voice, I would be like, Lit I need some space. I need to go to another room. Don't ever do so that like, again. But also to like out of nowhere, just like motorboat you. Yeah. And be like. Just say goodbye. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Ew, don't ever do That's that again. That's gross. I, I don't care how long I've known you. I don't care how long we've been married. We don't could. do that, much less a first. <laughs> See her don't eight? talk to my titties like her babies. We could have babies together. I swear you to God. You still can't talk to my boobs like that. Never, that ever, ever. Don't. But it's the, did you like him? I'd be like, fuck no. That's fuck. Well, and also how weird and objectifying said, to like treat her boobs like they're not part of a part her, of her. Body. She goes, she goes did, he, did you like that? My boobs were like, fuck no. <laughs> like you know two know separate mean? people, she said. That is, sir. I'm Listen, sorry. girlfriend, tragic, and I'm so sorry know, for I'm you so sorry because you that was that. not it. I hope you had some good first date experiences after um, that because God, do you deserve it after putting up with that? <laughs> Truly. Ugh. Bad. Bad news bears. <laughs> bad news This is bears. what I'm saying. I'm like, I wanted to hear the juicy, but like, I kind of feel bad because I'm like, oh, that happened to someone. I know. Like, that's a real, like, that's a real, a real person. And a viewer. That's, a, that's why the thing with doing the viewer stories versus just like reading from Reddit is like, these are right. like people who watch us and yeah, like know us, here with us and who are like part of our community yeah yeah yes like Girls. it makes it feel like it's personal a, if it's personal it's it a friend personal. telling it Dude, i'm upset <laughs> if if my friend was telling me this the day after it happened i'd have been like give me give his me name, the name and number yep the mm. number i'm about to find out what's going on i'm calling on. his job oh 100 mm. percent, 100 percent Okay, next story, which actually, before we get into it, I do just want to say thank you to you guys for submitting these stories and allowing us to, like, share that on the podcast. And and we appreciate you being vulnerable in the stories that, the romantic stories, but also the the not-so-romantic stories. Yeah. <laughs> yes. We know. It, it takes a good amount of confidence to share how tragic a date went, truly. Like, it could be embarrassing, but we appreciate you. Well. We get it. And we'll see if this next one is embarrassing because the title is making me, uh, it's making me think. Okay. Dog pee. Deal breaker or not? <laughs> <laughs> it's you titling. It's giving golden man. showers. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Okay. 
This is kind of a unique story. So I'm originally from California and I moved to New York for college in fall 2021 after taking a gap year because of COVID. On the very first night of school, I met this girl in the pizza line and we really hit it off and it turned out that she was from California too. We became super close friends and after a couple months, I realized I was developing a crush on her, which was new to me because I had previously identified as straight, even though I was open to changing that. I grew up doing theater, so I have the philosophy that it's easier to just confess your feelings. Period. Say it. Say it. Oh, sing it. Period. Monologue. Yeah. Ever. Dude, Express dance it. it out, bitch. <laughs> Tap it out, baby. Tap yeah. it out. Can you imagine? You're having a really emotional talk. I t- t- love <laughs> you. People change. Yeah. I have so many feelings, I can only get it out in one way. Tap. <laughs> uh, okay. So right before winter break, I told her I liked her. Well, she wasn't in a place where she was emotionally ready to begin a relationship with the end of the semester work and holiday stress and all, but we're still great friends. A couple weeks later, we hung out at home and she told me that she also liked me. Amazing. Perfect. Wonderful. Love to see it. And the story can end there. Great. We're so happy for you. (laughs) My anxiousness got the better of me. And as soon as she told me, I puked in a bush in my driveway. (laughs) Maybe. Super glad we were friends first, though. So she found it funny. (laughs) Right. Okay, T. Oh, cutie. Fast forward a few weeks and she came to spend New Year's Eve with my family. She lives about an hour and a half away. So it wouldn't really be safe for her to drive home that late. So the plan was just for her to stay over. An important detail. We had a lovely time all night, and at midnight, my family all had confetti poppers and noisemakers going off. We noticed one of our dogs was nowhere to be seen, but we didn't think much of it. After a bit, I feel like I know where this is going now. (laughs) Oh, my God. I don't. (laughs) You know, dogs get scared with, like, the poppers and stuff. No, let her let her be delusioned. Okay. Keep going ahead. (laughs) After a bit, we decided to head upstairs and get ready to sleep, and I noticed my bed was all messed up. I figured that my dog had just gotten cozy and pushed my blankets around when I got, but when I got up closer, I saw that it was wet. All caps. My dog had peed in my bed. (laughs) Oh, dang. Imagine you're taking someone to bed with you and you're like. Like you're about to like get it. Yeah, especially like New Year's kiss. Dude, you're about to like get salt. Yeah. And your dog cock blocks you? (laughs) It's giving cock block, dude. Is it not? (laughs) Yeah, totally. (laughs) Like, know, totally the same bed that we were about to sleep in we had literally just started dating so i was absolutely mortified luckily oh. she has pets too so i cleaned it up i put a towel down and we fell asleep holding hands oh i'm glad you got your happy ending yes. yeah yeah Apparently, the dog pee wasn't a deal breaker because we've been together for nine or ten months now, depending on who you ask. Moral of the story, keep track of your dogs and be friends with your significant others first. I love y'all's podcast. Aww. Oh, we love you. Dude. That was so sweet. I love a happy ending, sweet. though. I know. I, do too. I know. So <laughs> sweet. Honestly, listen, animals are going to be animals. You know what I'm saying? Life is just going to happen, honestly, is what that's giving. Again, and just adjust, baby. Throw down a towel. Adjust. I don't know. We go, we jump into the bathroom. I don't know. <laughs> Dude, listen. You're throwing down towels for half of other reasons or not. So, like, throw a towel down for the dog pee. I don't know. Like, <laughs> right? Maybe that's just me. But that's so true about being friends first as, like, oh, it yeah. kind of takes away some of that, like, anxiety. anxiety. Period. That's it? <laughs> Dude. Okay. <laughs> To jump off of that, I well, I was talking to Paloma like I don't I've never dated someone that I had like just met ever mm. like never in my life has it been like oh we meet and then we date I probably like even Ryan now my boyfriend now I we met on a dating app but we didn't like date date we just knew each other for a year and a half before we started dating and the, prior to that my ex I knew for six years prior to that four years like sometimes it's giving friends. And then it's giving dates. <laughs> I don't know. And that might be like a, a, a friend thing, like or a trust thing. Like maybe I just like don't really know you. So I don't want to like, give. But like it doesn't hurt to like maybe be friends. And it might feel like you're not progressing in the way you want to. But like you never know, like making friends with somebody and like building that connection and getting to know who they are might also be Important. A saving grace, yeah. bro. Yeah. Like, you can really yeah. know who somebody is before you start dating them and be like, oh, we're better as friends because if mm-hmm. I was your girlfriend, this would not fly. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I can see you as a person right now. 
versus with rose colored glasses right. when we're dating. Because mm-hmm. mm. I don't have that now. Right. With Ryan. Because you guys were friends for so long before. Exactly. And I think it's so cool that you guys met on a dating app, but then still decided let's let's be friends. Mm-hmm. Because you're not saying the only valuable relationship I can get from a dating app is to date. Yeah, it's you a can... romantic relationship. Yes. We had a platonic relationship for the year and a half that we knew each other. So then if he acts a certain type of way, I'm like, I either saw this and I like knew what the tea was or I didn't. And now it can be a conversation or whatever, the, whatever the tea is. But like sometimes it benefits you to take time to really be that person's friend. And sometimes I also feel like if you're younger, it feels like friend zone and maybe mm. it is. And I, and sometimes it is, you know, and that's a whole other conversation, but sometimes it might just be like, I just maybe want to get to know who you are as a person. And if we can vibe as people and I see you doing regular things and not putting your best foot forward to impress me because we're dating. And that's the tea about dating. When you first start dating someone, you're on your best behavior. Exactly. Right. You're both parties, you know, you're you're both really parties, hiding. Yeah. So I, I mean, I even personally, like, if you have nothing to hide, you're still like, okay, I'm putting my best foot forward. And yes, you are trying I'm looking to, my best. I'm doing my best. Doing everything. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And as friends, you can kind of get that like inside look and and more like chill, relaxed vibes. Mm-hmm. And and not so high stakes, high pressure. Yeah. Stakes, and I if feel, that's you know? something that you don't actually like vibe with, that's an opportunity for you to be like, okay. I see that and I note it and I'm not interested. And before you're like romantically, emotionally invested. Yeah, because that gives you, op- honestly, I think being romantically involved with somebody that you have just met, al- unfortunately, allows you to overlook red flags mm-hmm. at mm-hmm. times because mm-hmm. you're so emotionally and like romantically involved. But if you know somebody and you've seen them act the way they act and then it's nothing to do with you and you're like, mm that's an opportunity for you to dip. Mm-hmm. Yep. But if you see them and you you see how they act in certain situations and how they treat other people and this and that and the third, it has nothing to do with you and you're still like, nah, yeah, it's giving. That's an opportunity for you to be like, okay, this is this is like a person yep. that I could like be with. I agree. Be friends with your with your people first. If you have the opportunity, I suggest it personally. You know what that reminds me of too? Like one of my favorite little tidbits is that the show Survivor has produced more Mm. lasting relationships than The Bachelor. Really? And I think that's exactly what you were just saying. Yeah. The Bachelor, that is, you just met, you're going on these whirlwind romance dates. You're in a- Beautiful views. Yes, you're in a helicopter at a winery. You're talking to each other about how much you love each other. How do you fall in love? Seclusion, right? You also get that opportunity to like be away from Mm -hmm. everything and everyone. And when you come- back to the real world of yeah. course it's not gonna fit those expectations right we're a survivor you're the plot of that show the point that you're there is to backstab everyone else yeah you're showing the worst of you you are not showered you are dirty and gross and it's bringing out probably the worst of your personality yeah, yeah. and so if you're walking away from that show being like i love this person or yeah. like we've built this friendship on the island and then yeah. maybe it yeah. become something later like we went through that wasn't that crazy i mean and if you made it through that and you're still like through trial you know, that's dude awesome. yeah i'd be like we can get through anything they could leave us on a stranded island and we'll be okay well that's a that's a big part of relationships right is that the first time that you guys go through something really really hard is a telling point if this is going to be something that you guys can like withstand right and like work through yeah because that's the biggest thing you're how life. You, how you communicate and and how you deal with life mm-hmm, mm-hmm. as Together. a human being mm-hmm. and how you deal with life as an individual and how you deal with life as somebody's partner. Mm. Yeah, I mean, people are always like, before you get married, make sure you see how they uh, travel, how they talk to... What are like, they like when they're things, angry? How they're angry. They, and yeah, you're like, all this this just, you're just trying to see them for who they are fully yeah. before you make a commitment. Before you fucking like sign the contract, bro. Yeah. Yeah, that's where like I know some people don't want to live together before marriage for like religious beliefs or personal beliefs. Couldn't be me. Personally, I am so glad Stephen and I lived together before we got married because I I remember people saying like, oh, that's like a make it or break it thing. Mm -hmm. And and you should be married before you live together because otherwise it's too easy to leave. I remember someone saying that to me and me thinking like, well, then maybe you should leave. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah. right. And it was actually after Stephen and I moved in together just a couple weeks later that we realized like, oh, this really works. Yeah. Like we're really compatible. Like we knew we loved each other. We knew we like saw a future, but it was when we moved in together and we saw that like, 
our lives actually and our personalities mm-hmm. actually work so well living yeah. together that we were like, yeah, yeah, let's maybe start looking at engagement rings. Like, yeah. let's maybe yeah. talk about this future because we saw it. We we saw what it would what be it like every be. day. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. And I and I imagine if it wasn't great. Right. But you have the opportunity prior to marriage to be like, hey, I don't I really don't I I know would, yeah. that this is going to work or if we're going to do this, these are the things that I need. And then the other person's like, these are the things that I need. And so you compromise and you try to figure it out and work and work and work. And if it doesn't work, it's giving like. Find someone it works with. Maybe let's reevaluate what it actually is we're doing here and move forward with that. That's so interesting with the make or break thing you're saying. And you're like, right, because it could break that. Like, that's not like the kind of person that you should be like co- literally coexisting with. Yes. Yeah, cohabitating is, yeah, with, like, dude. Yeah, and then you're not finding that out till like after you're like, no, like you mentioned, it really is you can't get out because I just, now we have other the word priorities differences just like living situations no just like know. now we are in a different situation like being married like you know like yeah. realizing that or a commitment like at yeah. that moment you were like i have quite literally committed this but like we've, oh my god yeah we've already said i do we've already signed the papers we've already done the whole thing and now we're living together and i'm miserable yeah yeah and or maybe we have a baby and i'm like i fucking hate it here you didn't know what it was and like. You didn't know. Yeah, yeah no, and I you know. didn't it's, know, it's, it's, dude. That's like no. when people say the first year of marriage is the hardest. From my experience, the first year of marriage was the easiest because mm. we had already been living together for like two years, so we had like right. ironed out all the kinks of like right. cohabitating. Cohabitating. Yeah. And now we were done with the stress of wedding planning. I didn't feel like any judgment was being cast on me from family members anymore about mm. living together before marriage. I was like. Sweet, which is so <laughs> insane because just because you guys got married didn't take away from the fact that you lived together prior to yeah. marriage. But now it's like, oh well, they're well, not fine. Yeah, you're like we got to been- share rooms on family vacations now, and right, right. that's great. <laughs> right, but for us, like really nothing changed. So yeah. to to me, the first year of marriage was smooth sailing. Right, yeah. but I, I totally got a sidetracked. I honestly, <laughs> these are your stories, I, not yeah, ours. Sorry, <laughs> but I I'm with that. I fully think that like if I'm ever truly so like involved in like committed to a person like i'm i'm i simply will not agree to marry you if we've never lived together period i don't even care like i'm not gonna do it before we switch i just want to add one little tidbit that really has helped boy ryan and i living together we started living together like well not living to like it was covid i mean that that's that's where i feel like it all started we started cohabitating you're like okay you're like in a small studio just Mm -hmm. small little things you know just living and and I, and Ryan and I established this thing where I told him when we're talking about like dishes or something stupid like that. I'm like, hey, just so you know, like this is a roommate fight. Like this is not a, a relationship. relationship. And I fight. always, mm. always make sure to like label like when we're having a discussion about something that's not working in the house being like, hey, by the way, we're OK. We're good. Like this is just a roommate fight. Like I will we'll work this out. That's and so since good. we labeled it, we like know that this is not about our relationship. Not like this is just us figuring out how the heck to make dishes work for all of us. It's not personal. It's right. not nothing to do with our love for each other. That's a roommate ch- situation. I love that. I and love I feel like too. it's so good to say. We're not going to bring things from the romantic fights into the roommate fights yeah. and the roommate into the romantic mm-hmm. because that's when it gets messy is if you're having a actual emotional disagreement and then someone brings yeah. in and you never take the trash out. You're yeah. like, that's not what this that's is about. That's not relevant. <laughs> right, right, yeah. right. Because usually it's like, what is it? Oh, I felt like you didn't. It's like, I felt like you didn't care enough to. It's always like it's the root problem is like, I feel like you didn't see me or you didn't yeah. care. It's not the dishes ever. So like. Let's, this is, right. this is roommate. This is, yeah. this is simple. And, and honestly, it has saved us so many fights. So if you have a significant other and just saying that out loud, being like, hey, just so you know, like, I still love you. We are still good. We can work through this together. Mm-hmm. This is a roommate fight. Not that big. Yeah. Fine. I yeah. love that. It has helped me so much. So run with it, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a T, right? Like you guys can be married. And you guys been married for fifty years. It's still roommate. Yeah, it's still the trash. At the end of the day, it's still, it's still trash. trash. Still dishes. It's still it's the cleaning the up. And mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But it has nothing. It may not have anything to do with your relationship. Right. And if it does, hey, you didn't do what you said you were gonna do. So it makes me feel like you're not keeping up with your promises. Or da da da. And so I feel insecure about this. Whatever the fuck. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Whatever. It's the beginning of a conversation. But like you not doing the dishes the way I want you to do the dishes is giving roommates. It's giving. It's not giving. <laughs> it's not giving it's like we're so, gonna break up right now. It's like, so simple. But like those things are real. Like when and you start when they fighting, blow up, they blow up into things. You don't that make clean. It you seem. don't pick up your shit. Like yep. you don't. Ca- and it's just yep. like it. Le- it snowballs. Yeah. Like baby. Yeah. These snowballs. are chores. Let's not. Let's not. Right. Right. So, Love. You want to read the next one? Yes. Okay. 
next one. This one is called Dinner or Bust. So I hope your imaginations take you wherever they want to go. With <laughs> you dirty for that one. I know, I know. Sorry. <laughs> I'd have been speaking with this guy casually for a while and we had met up. And we met up with our friends and it was like a couple of times we had met up and it was super exciting. He asked me to come over to his place for dinner on Valentine's Day. So I was super excited. I had always thought that I was more into him than he was into me. So it was a nice little <laughs> ego boost that he invited me over. Especially on Valentine's Day. Like yes. that's kind of right. like a thing. That's like that's kind of giving a thing. like Wait, did you wait? Not to sidebar, but like no, there was like a, I feel like maybe in like a Valentine's past, you're like, wait, can I not go on a date on Valentine's Day? Because that's weird. No, like, because you can't it was giving that. like mm -hmm. couple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you're I like, know. I don't want you to yeah. think I think this is more serious than right. It is. Yes. Right, right, right. Yeah. So this this man inviting this girl over yeah, on Valentine's yeah. Day. on Valentine's Day was like it's really, a move. It's yeah, a, yeah, yeah. No, it's a move. And she and as this was saying, she was already kind of feeling a little bit insecure, and so this gave her an ego boost, which oh. is fantastic. So she says, I arrived at his house. We agreed for a time. I walked in. We got to the kitchen. He had bought all of the ingredients for the dinner and then asked how long I think it would take me to make it. I kid you not. I believe that he invited me over to cook together and he had invited me over to cook for him. The audacity. Um, no. That's horrible. What? Wait, how did he even like sh shape that question? So what do you? When yeah, he, he was like, so how long do you think it'll take? Oh my god! I'd be like to get my ass out here five seconds. Yeah, exactly. As <laughs> right? fuck, as fuck, as fuck. Yeah, she says. When I said to him, "You must be joking," he told me I clearly wasn't wifey material <gasps> and asked me to leave. Good, get out, run, run, run. Asked me to leave. Dodged a bullet. That I'm is in. so. First of all, let's talk about entitled it. as fuck. It's giving a test. Yeah, yeah, and and you know what. He failed mm -hmm. fully. I think he was trying to put a test but on her to see if she was white, but yes, it failed. But it's yeah. crazy because you know that that was his intention all along. He yep. went out of his way to buy the groceries, invite her over, say, We're going to do this, we're going to meet at this time, we're going to cook this, we're going to do this, we're going to do this. It's a power play. Oh, fuck yeah. Dude. And, and it's, it's gross and it's manipulative. Yeah. Ew, I don't yeah. like that at all. Yeah. I'm, I'm just like shocked at the audacity because the thing is, like, already him buying groceries for them to cook together is kind of like oh that's cute so but cute. if he bought the groceries and said i'm gonna cook for you like oh that's like you could have got some that night yeah 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 if you came over it could go one of two ways both right. of which i think are good of we're gonna cook together it's fun it's cute it's romantic we're learning together or you go sit on the couch you look yeah. pretty have a glass of wine relax we're chatting while he's cooking yes Amazing. Love that. But to say, I'm going to go sit on the couch. <laughs> and you're going to You gonna are going to cook. cook. That's kind of setting up the future. And I would run. And that's why she said dodge the bullet. Good. I said, yeah, yeah because he would have expected that. Okay. If you would have done it and you would have been, if you would have got in a relationship with him, he would have been like, so you're going to cook me dinner every day. See, when I say I hate men, Illusion. this is what I mean. This is what we mean. <laughs> what? We hate men. I, I, honestly, I all. Mean. All. It's, I have a boyfriend and I'm like, I hate all of you it's the entitlement and the misogyny because can you imagine if a if a woman did that if Never. a woman invited a man over and said you're to gonna cook things. for me you're gonna build this bookshelf and you're also gonna hang up my shit and you're also gonna do this i will do and that it's a test on if you're husband material and, so and step up to the plate and, and this is our first date and bro? hinting we're gonna do it together dude i would have no problem cooking with you it's cute together yes. but all of a sudden but it's the just way me? exactly you like made it seem like we were gonna do this and then all of a sudden i got there and you're like so what are you doing i'm you like so first of all she's first, so dodged a bullet girl, girl so i am so sorry i just for you. got yeah. here girl no you, you did dodge a bullet mm -hmm, mm -hmm. better bad news bears <laughs> is what i have to say Ooh. bad see this is the thing where i'm like maybe i need to be a bigger person because part of me is like i hope that he never finds love <laughs> Right. No, no. Like I hope he's still single. I Unless agree. that man has changed, I completely one hundred and ten percent agree. Yeah. yeah. If he so, don't take or uh, take a look at that situation and be like, hmm, maybe don't what do did that I again. Do wrong? Then yeah. I'll be like, yeah. But if yeah. not, alone forever. Because here's the Send thing: there's nothing wrong with like wanting your significant other to like maybe make you a meal one yes. time and do that. But like, that's we, not your significant we other. We just met. We yeah. just met. We're going on a first date, and you have already have expectations of me to do something for you red flag red flag it's giving i pay for your dinner so let's like hook up vibes it's giving that it's and giving, i hate to I say don't it but need your consent for this activity even something as simple as cooking dinner 
being like, you're not an active participant who gets a say, an opinion, or I'm not even going to consider you or show you that I thought about or considered you. That mm-hmm. part. Exactly. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> All right. I think we've got time for one more story. Yes. Uh, who wants to read it? Shall We've I all read P- one, I think. Yeah, all P. All right, all right, here we go. Take us home. Oh, and I like this title. It's The Little Things. Love it. Not a horror story, but a very sweet one. Oh, oh okay. that's a good one okay. to end on. Yeah, we can end with this <laughs> good, one. Okay, okay. On my first Valentine's Day with my husband, in parentheses, then boyfriend, he sent me roses at work, but asked for one back. I was very confused and a little annoyed, but after some back and forth, I finally gave him one of the roses back. A few weeks later, he gave me a necklace he had made for me himself, where the pendant was one of the rose petals from our first Valentine's Day flowers, dried, preserved, and encased. That way, even though flowers die, I could always have a piece of the flowers from our first Valentine's Day. What the fuck? What a winner. Do you see? (laughs) The the other side? Like, you have one what girl. You this have. is what you could. This is what you deserve. This is but why. This is why. This is why. You never don't, settle. Don't, yeah. Do not oh ever. God. If they wanted to, they would. Period. Don't ever settle. Oh Ladies, my god. Simply. If we could, if we could just tell you something. If that's, one takeaway, one takeaway from this episode: don't settle. Don't yep. Do it for anything. No job. No man. No woman. No nothing. Never ever ever settle. Because you deserve you, that. You deserve that. Period. Punto. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but I couldn't help it. We should not be giving it a relationship or love. Listen, advice. I don't know shit about shit. I just got here, so you really shouldn't be listening to me. And that's on period. I do love, you should say you're like I like to give a dating advice. I've I only love, been dating for like two months. Yeah, but here we go. Here's I, my best. I love giving. I I love. I loved giving dating advice when I was single. That was my favorite thing to do. But said, you give great advice on everything. Thank you. You're like one of my favorite people to go to for advice. Thank you. I feel very. Uh, I have a sound mind. I feel like I look at things logically. I'm another sign for those who know about astrology. So I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm another sign it's giving Taurus. So it's giving grounded. Like yeah. I'm very much like. See, okay, this I know what sense. that means because it's like in Avatar, like the different benders from like the different elements, like yeah. the Earth benders yes. are very grounded. Yes. So I know what you mean. I okay. can translate it into Sierra. In thing. Avatar. Well, I'm glad that she yeah. believes Avatar and not like the stars. <laughs> it's <just> amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> What you choose to believe. <laughs> I love this back and forth. I know we do. <laughs> yes. But so, yes, you. I agree. Yes. I feel like I could give some good, you know, some good advice, even though I may not know about the subject. What if we but just. But it's giving like. We should give. What makes sense. What's logical. We should do like an episode where we like give love advice. It's like unsolicited. Nobody asks. Yeah. For it, no but, like, one We should maybe it. talk. Like you've been married. I'm in a long term. She's a new mate. What if we just I'm like new. exchange like love tips? We should. That's <laughs> because what if. I want to learn from like, you. Like Sierra. How long. How, as in total. How long have you been with Steven for? It'll be. 10 years this year. Yeah, I'm going to need an episode. It's giving (laughs) decades. It's giving, I'm coming with some questions. Holy shit, dude. Yeah, so we met in April of 2013 and we started dating in December of 2013. So it'll be 10 years of meeting this spring and then 10 years together in the winter. Crazy. No, okay, so there's no way that we're not going to have Steven's ass (laughs) right here. We should. Doing like 10 years. What's it like? (laughs) And it's going to be six years of marriage this summer. Dude, and a baby, bro. And a baby. baby. That's crazy. What goes on here? (laughs) Who are you? Do you need me to explain something to you, Ryan? (laughs) Honestly, maybe. (laughs) Well, when a mommy and a daddy love each other very much. (laughs) (laughs) I might. Well, listen. (laughs) That's going to. I think that's going to just about do it for this one <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for watching we're so happy to be back welcome back again. Yes. 20 whatever 2023 bigger better than ever we're here nope <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's it. I, I didn't know what else to say yeah yeah <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <I'm> blank sorry <laughs> you thank it. you guys so much for watching we love you so much we are your valentines yes. you, you know yes. we have each other and um have a great we're just so happy to be back yeah. Just, have a, just have a great. Have a great. Have a great. Have a great. Great period. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>